Welcome everybody. My name is Phil Patterson from AWS. I'm the sp it's a it's a handful of uh, a title list, specialized solution architect for end user compute. Um, that covers two products within AWS. So we've got Workspaces and AppStream. Uh, so today I'm actually going to be talking to you about AppStream specifically uh, and demoing ArcGIS in AppStream. So we've got a number of Azure Australia guys guys here in the crowd today. Um, I know it's a pretty short session, so we're planning to head to the ProServe booth. Uh, if you wanted to have a bit of Q&A session, both with AWS and then the Azure Australia guys will, will join as well. So uh, just uh, a quick housekeeping around the agenda. So what is a, a end user compute on AWS? Why would you want to use it? Obviously AppStream and then the, 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 the good stuff, the, the demo. Uh, so just a quick, uh, quick round up of the different products that we have on offer. So I uh, spoke to you about the two products, so Workspaces and AppStream. Workspaces is your persistent desktop, it's your desktop for life. Um, with a reboot you can flick between a hardware profile being a small desktop, cheap and cheerful, up to the high end graphics, graphics workspace. So you can actually have that same workspace for your life. You no longer have to exchange your laptop or exchange your computer. Um, it's a single purpose workspace uh, and it's a dedicated for, for that particular user. There's no contention. We don't do uh, sharing between different users on the one box so that that one user will get that one workspace environment. Uh, with AppStream, uh, it's actually an extension of your desktop fleet. So you want to be able to think about it over in pulling in your, those heavy monolithic applications into uh, and extending that out to your, your end users. Uh, so we're going to have a look at ArcGIS in, in AppStream shortly. Um, we see it quite heavily used in, in the university space, so uh, virtual classrooms, they want to be able to remove all of the hardware on, on their desks for, for their students. Um, but we're also seeing it uh, both at the high-end graphics uh, level, so geospatial specifically, but also CAD design, architecture, that kind of stuff as well. So let's take a look at AppStream. So it's secure. Um, we run a protocol called NiceDCV. It's been specifically built and designed to render high-end graphics back to your users in a secure manner. So it runs through HTTPS, uh, is the actual transmission protocol. Um, the, the AppStream instance itself can be active directory joined, so it's an extension of your normal, your normal security posture in terms of what the user can and cannot access. Um, but you can also layer over a number of security controls to restrict that particular user to a particular place in your network. It's instant on access, so all the benefits of the AWS cloud is the user connects, they're provisioned an instance, and it kind of scales elastically, it grows up, it grows down. You only pay for what you use and consume. It's easily integrated, so I spoke about Active Directory. So a lot of, a lot of our customers want to be able to use Active Directory as, as a method to integrate that particular user, that particular environment into their existing uh, governance framework. Um, client devices, so uh, I spoke about it's an HTML5 uh, endpoint, so you connect through a web browser, and, and I'll demo that to you shortly. Um, so we support uh, almost any device, as long as it's got HTML5-based browser, they can access that anywhere. Um, managed service, so we take care of all the less citizen components behind uh, the upstream environment. So a lot of those traditional VDI solutions, you will have to manage and maintain that. And as part of the upstream service, we actually manage that for you. So all you have to worry about is installing your application and then manage the users that can connect to that particular application. We sort the rest of it out. And it's scalable performance. So I spoke about that one user that connects can only see that particular instance. That instance is just for them and it's not shared with anybody else. So every time they connect, they will have that same consistent performance profile that you as an administrator choose. So just one last slide before we actually get into the, the, good, the good demo. So just talk about the different use cases we see up, upstream coming into play. So the, the first one is uh, we've got 16 different instance types for AppStream available, ranging from your cheap and cheerful all the way through to the really super high-end uh, intensive uh, type instances. So that lends itself to a variety of different workloads, starting from uh, things like SAP GUI is, is quite a common one for your large enterprises, so filling out timesheets. Uh, one of the common things we see customers complaining about is to have to manage and maintain the SAP application on thousands of endpoints. So why not actually bring all of that into the one place, manage it within the AppStream environment, and then your user can fill out their timesheets, do their expenses, do anything else within that application, and access it through a browser. So it kind of satisfying your, your software offerings to your users, which is pretty cool. Um, but then going right down, so we've got Matworks is a big one for universities, obviously engineering type applications as well. 
um, but then obviously for this is geospatial, so that kind of goes to the higher end of the higher end of instance class. Uh, Esri, SolidWorks, Petrel are the big ones we see in that type of space. So let's get into the good stuff. That's what you're here for. You want to see ArcGIS inside of AppStream. So I've actually got two separate demos that I'll show you today. The first is all around the user experience. We'll show you what an ArcGIS application looks like inside of an AppStream environment, what they can do with it. Um, we'll actually show, I'll kind of walk you through what the actual UI looks like from a user perspective. Um, I'll have a look at application switching and context switching. Um, and then I'll show you one last use case that we see quite common, commonly, uh, which is actually to use AppStream as a method of RDP access into your secure fleet. So let's get into this. So you guys see my actual screen, it's pretty cool. So let me just refresh this. So the first thing you get asked is, how are you going to authenticate against AppStream? So I, right now, I'm using AppStream integrated usernames and passwords so that we take that care of that for you. You can choose to integrate your uh, AppStream environment with Active Directory if you wanted to do that. That would have an additional step of that user would have to go to a particular page to then log in. That's typically done through Okta, ADFS. Uh, it's SAML authentication, essentially. So let's log in. So the first thing a user would see, the first thing a user would see is all of the applications that they have access to within that particular instance that they're connecting to. So I've baked a bunch of applications into an image which I'm exposing out to my user. Uh, so obviously ArcGIS Pro. I've also got ArcGIS Earth, which I'll pull up shortly as well. Um, I've installed Blender, which is like a graphics design, a animate, a animatronic kind of application. Uh, I've got my browser and, and all that kind of stuff as well. So let's start ArcGIS Pro. So all, essentially what I'm doing is I'm connecting to, in its simplest terms, in simplest form, I'm connecting to a VM that's hosted inside AWS. That VM is just showing me that particular application rather than everything around it. So I don't see the start menu. I don't see any other applications other than what's specifically been allowed to me from, from, uh, by my administrators. So you can see that all this is in, in a browser, right? So I'm consuming a browser app. My laptop, I no, I no longer have to have a chunky laptop. I can have a cheaper, cheerful Google Chrome, like a Chromebook or something like that. It's got no power. I can connect to this really high-end instance, consume it through a browser, and have all of the heavy lifting done for me in the cloud, which is really cool, really powerful. So let's go to full screen mode. So right now, you wouldn't know that I'm now not running on this on my desktop. Uh, yeah, so it, it kind of looks for the purposes that it's actually on my box, which is pretty cool. So obviously, I'm, I'm not a, an Esri expert. I actually used to work for Esri Australia a long time ago. Um, but what I've done is I'm loading up the, the ArcGIS Online base maps to give you some imagery to, to pull in and consume. But what we do as part of an AppStream environment and deployment, you would pick your network that you're going to place the AppStream instance into. And from that, it has access to things like if you've got an ArcGIS server on premise or ArcGIS server in the cloud or other, other shared assets with your other users through file shares on EC2, Esri license servers, you can access all of that kind of really cool stuff. So again, this is a bit of a, a lame test for the hardcore geospatial users. Um, I'm just showing a base map again, uh, but you could be running all of your geolocating tools, all of your data analytics type tools inside of this AppStream instance as part of the ArcGIS platform. So it's performing just as if it were on my actual desktop, which is pretty cool. 
So a little bit of a, a side switch at the moment. So I'm going to load up uh, and do some graphics. Uh, I've got DarkGIS Earth, which has the capability to do some 3D uh, imagery and rendering. And again, both of these applications are now running within the single instance that I'm connecting to. So I've just been given the nod for five minutes. So it's pretty cool that I'm consuming these apps. Again, I don't have to have a heavy desktop. I don't have to have a heavy laptop. It's all running on, on the, the AWS cloud inside a, an upstream instance, which is pretty cool. So given in mind we're running, running short of time, the last thing I wanted to quickly show you, or well, two things I wanted to quickly show you were the different use case that we're seeing uh, for AppStream. So this is a way of, of giving your users jump box, ac jump box access to the, the IT environment. For, for example, if their IT administrator is working from home, they need to have secure access to manage your work. Things like if you're running EC2 on a private network, you need to be able to securely access those. So a lot of customers stand up VPNs, IPC VPNs, they have all of this networking stuff to be able to support that. Or we're saying you can actually throw all that stuff away. Why have it, right? So from within this AppStream instance, we've already established that I'm securely connected. I'm authenticated against AppStream. Um, we're able to then connect to my private uh, endpoints and my private EC2 instance in this example uh, in a secure fashion. So I've now IDP'd through this upstream instance into my private network, my private VPC, and I'm now managing my private EC2 instance, which is pretty powerful. The last thing I'll very quickly show you guys is what you guys can do to get started. This is super easy, super quick to get up and running. So I've got the AWS Management Console open in front of me, so this is the upstream environment. Uh, to start and capture your own image, uh, in terms of how do you get ArcGIS inside of an AppStream environment. You launch, you launch an instance, it's called an image builder instance from our public, uh, public images. Uh, you can launch that into your network, your VPC, um, and then you connect to it through the AWS Management Console to install the application. So what I'll do is I'll connect, I'll connect to the actual image builder that I used to create the demo that you saw today. So you can actually see right here, this is the full desktop of the image that I'm, that I'm actually exposing out to my users. I've installed a bunch of apps uh, here, uh, all of those apps that you saw before. And, and that's literally a download the executables, next, 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 install, install it into this location, just use all the defaults. And then once you're ready at that point, you then uh, run this particular image wizard. Um, and that creates uh, essentially metadata catalog of all of the executables you wanted to capture and, and expose out to your end users. Um, and that is literally a next, 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 and you're done. Once you then have that custom image, you then publish that out to your users as a fleet. They log in and are able to see the applications that you packaged up as part of that. So, so that's, that's the two demos I wanted to quickly show you. I, I know we're running close, close to time. Um, we'll head over to the ProServe booth if you guys wanted to actually see this. I, I'm happy to plug it in. I think we've got a screen we can plug into if you wanted to have a tinker yourself. Uh, if you've got any questions, again, the Esri Australia guys are here to support us as well. Uh, if you've got any questions about the Esri platform, feel free to ask, ask those guys. But thank you very much for your time. I hope that was, that was valuable and in, in interesting. So yeah, thank you.